Do you want an overview for all your event inquiries and bookings? Res Diaries event list is one place to find the key information about all your event bookings. This film will show you how to order your events, assign them to a user, set status, filter your events and change the information shown about an event. From your diary, click the events inquiry icon on the left. This will bring up the events list. In the top left, the page you are on is shown in relation to other pages in the diary. This can be used to navigate the various pages by clicking the page you want to open. The event list is divided into two sections. On the left, a table showing key details about your events. On the right, options to filter and organize this table. Looking at the table, on the top right, there are two buttons. Create new is covered in the creating a new event film linked in the descriptor. Print will print the results shown in the table. Clicking on the title for each column will reorder the table based on the ascending or descending value of that column. In the assigned column, events can be assigned to individual diary users for them to manage. This will not stop another user with permission for editing to make changes to the event inquiry. Click the drop down and select the user from the list or use the search option. In the status column, you have six options with which to tag your inquiries. Once an event has been changed from new to any other status, it will no longer show with the pink icon on the inquiry section link. Selecting either confirmed or provisional will open a pop-up encouraging you to add this booking to your diary, but you can proceed without doing this. Declined or cancelled will both bring up the cancellation reasons options. Select a reason from the dropdown. Cancellation reasons can be customized and this is covered in the event inquiry settings film linked in the descriptor. There is a text box to add any further information below. If there is a booking connected with this event, the details will be shown and a warning that the booking will be cancelled and removed from the diary. Finally, there is the option to send an email notification to the customer summarizing this information. Each of these statuses can be used by your team in a way that supports your event booking process. The options on the right hand side let you filter your events. If you can't see the section on the right, click the hide show icon. If your venue is part of a group, you'll have the option to filter by venues. Below you can add a custom filter. Choose the type of filter in the top drop down and the parameter of the filter below. Once happy with your filters, you can click Run View. You also have the options to change which columns are shown. Click the Edit the Columns You See and Their Order button in the Columns section. Click the X to remove any irrelevant columns and use the arrow to reveal a full list of options. Simply click to add them to the table. You can reorder the table by clicking and dragging headings in the table. Sort by lets you choose which property the table is organized by and whether it is ascending or descending. Once happy with your changes, you can click Done Editing Columns. The Show options let you choose how many entries to show per page. If you wish to retain these filters, click Save View and give it a name. This view will now appear as an option at the top of the column. You can edit or delete this view or add a new view. Finally, you can edit an existing event by clicking on the entry. This is covered in detail in the Managing an Event film linked in the descriptor. If you have any questions, you can find more information about event inquiries on the Knowledge Base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.